Hi it's Charlotte, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I've got my first fashion haul that's kind of transitioning into autumn fashion and I'm really excited for it. I must warn you the transition from white clothing to black clothing is severe. Like I don't think I've realised how many black items of clothing I actually ordered and I mean improper attire today but yes so basically I'm just getting excited for autumn fashion and I wanted to start off with ASOS so I just thought I'd show you the pieces that I picked up and if you'd like to see this then please carry on watching. So the first thing that I picked up which I definitely knew that I was going to be after for this autumn was a pair of black leather leggings which I was very tempted by last autumn and I didn't end up getting and the fact that I still want them makes me think maybe I should. So yeah they are basically I think this is just ASOS brand this pair of like faux leather black leggings and I just when I see people wearing these with like an oversized white shirt I just think it looks so so cute and I really wanted some. I got these in a size 8 and actually they're a bit too big so I've reordered them in a size 6 as they were just sort of scrunching up a little bit and I feel like with leather leggings you want them to be tight fit so yeah I usually flux between a 6 and an 8 so I'd maybe say go like either size down or go with like your smaller size if you're ordering them because I found these ones to be a little bit baggy but apart from that I really loved them and the way they looked I think they look so cute and I think I'm definitely going to get a lot of wear out of them. I'm really happy with those. Well, I've reordered them a size smaller. <laughs> I then ordered a couple of like knit vests. I'm definitely always on the hunt for some cute knit vests, but sadly, like most of the time, I just can't find any that I really like or that I just can style really easily. So I found this one, which is like this chunky, like off white cream knit vest. It's quite, it's got like this little like bobbly pattern it's really nice like holding it up it looks a lot nicer maybe i need to try it on with black okay before before i sat down to film i was gonna say that when i tried it on i tried it on with a white shirt and i wasn't meh, i wasn't in love with it and immediately i was like i'm just gonna send it back i mean it looks really cute on camera maybe i need to try it with black with this underneath i really like it as a standalone piece i just with a white shirt i just don't think it looks right i'm not too sure now oh i'm not sure it is really nice quality though so i mean if you know how to style this then maybe you can think of a better way than me i might have another go at styling it i then had a similar problem with this one so how cute does this look on camera this knit vest looks like the vest of dreams doesn't it there was like one in stock when i ordered it i was like i need that like right now it's beautiful look at the colors and the pattern i can't stop it like no the only thing is again styling it i'm like i'm not sure how to like with a white shirt i just think again like, does it look right the white shirt i was trying on with these is quite a fitted white shirt i don't really have like an oversized cool white shirt maybe that's what i'm missing from my wardrobe both of these vests have potential you know i can't hold it up it looks way too cute next up i ordered this black long duster coat which is not going to show well on camera i really love this i've kind of i've got way too many coats i know that already but the thing is i always find a style of coat that i don't have that i really want so for example i have quite a lot of coats at the moment but i really want a long black coat because i don't have any black coats this just looks so nice because it's a wrap coat so you can like tie it cinch it in and I just think this looks so nice. I look so smart in it. I don't usually look that smart. And so I just love this and it's not too thick. So I feel like on top of a jumper could be really nice. Yeah, I was just really impressed with this. I think it wasn't too expensive for a coat. I'm not too sure. I've ordered a black coat from Zara as well. So I think I might wait to return this and see what that one looks like. I then tried on this black button up satin shirt. I think this is so cute possibly one of my favorite pieces i keep seeing like pictures of girls wearing like black oversized satin shirts tucked into a pair of jeans and i want to be one of those girls you know i just i said for 2020 i need to insert more black into my wardrobe but then spring and summer happened and i mean i pretty much live in white and beige in the summer i can't help it but now that the autumn winter's kicking in, I feel like I really just wanna wear black <laughs> and it's showing. <laughs> I'm really excited. I think I, I just need to pair this with a couple of outfits just to make sure that I get enough use out of it. But I just, it doesn't feel like satin is the only thing. Like it feels like crepey, 
but it looks like satin. I don't know why, I don't know if that's meant to be, but it still feels like nice quality. Okay, so the next item is a black smock dress <laughs> with these like huge puff sleeves. I don't know if you can see that and it's cinched in at the middle. I, in my last Zara haul, I showed like a black sort of smock dress and I said it was like nothing like I wanted it to be like. This is what I wanted it to be like. This is what I was expecting when I ordered the one from the Zara haul. And it is really cute. It is really cute. I was very 50-50 about it. But the thing is, it's really cute if you, <laughs> if you put your hand on your shoulder or you sort of cinch in the middle a bit or you're posing essentially. But if you're stood still in this dress, it kind of looks like you're just wearing a bin bag, like a really puffy bin bag. It's very 50-50. It's like on one hand, so adorable and the other hand not so i've decided not to keep this one i think simply because like if i'm not in love with something i'm not going to keep it like it just doesn't make any sense so might have a look on the asos website and see if they have any smaller sizes because i'm not sure which size i got for this since i got a six though and it's like it's a six i then ordered something from the asos like new Lux range which i saw I kind of wanted to do a whole video dedicated to trying the Luxe range, but like they didn't have loads of pieces and I didn't end up doing it. However, I've ordered one thing from it. I must say I'm impressed because it was pretty darn cute. It's this little black dress, which you can't see on camera. Black is like the worst colour to show on camera, isn't it? So I ordered this thinking like it could be like a cute little LBD and you go out for drinks and stuff, but you know, which I never do. I just thought, you know, for the odd occasion when I'm dressing up, going out somewhere, and I just thought like, this could be really cute and it's so, so cute and so inexpensive. I was like, the straps, I can't get over them, like the fit, how soft the dress is. I loved it and it makes me want to try more from the ASOS Lux range because I was just so impressed with this and I think it was about £10. So I'm just so impressed with the quality, really. Right, lastly, we are stepping away from the colour black. I know. <laughs> um, so I paired this top in a pair of jeans. This top is from Free People, and I've heard of this brand so much, but never actually ordered from them. But it's this cute little nude bralette. Oh my, the fit. This was so comfy. I was like torn between like, I was like, I'm pretty sure I could sleep in this, it's so comfy. I kind of want it in every colour. Yeah, I just thought this was really, really cute. Really nice quality. It is quite expensive for a little vest top, but I think Free People is meant to just be like a really like luxurious, really lovely quality clothing. That's the vibe I always got from Free People. So I think this is a really cute piece. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. I think I might add it back to my wish list because I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna be wearing this a lot in the autumn and winter time, so I might just add it back to my wish list for next year and keep it in mind for the spring and summer. And I paired the vest top with these mom jeans from, they're actually Pull and Bear, and I love how blue these jeans are. Like, I just love the color of these. And honestly, I loved how these looked. I thought they were so cute. However, I did get a size eight, so, they were a bit baggy around my waist, so I kind of wish I'd got a six. So again, something else I might consider reordering. But I absolutely love the color, the fit. Like, I struggle so much to find a nice pair of mom jeans. I don't have any, but I'm always on the search for some. And I think if I size down in these, I possibly could find my perfect mom jeans. So yeah, I was really happy with those. I then picked up this cute little nude, like beigey fleece. I think this is so nice. Like I didn't realize how soft it would be. And I think this over like a little top or a t-shirt, like it just looked so good. I, I have a fleece at the moment that I literally wear to death, which is from Shein. And it's like this brown teddy with like leopard pockets. I'm literally looking at it over there. The only thing about that one is it's so soft, so cuddly. Mm, it doesn't really, look good like as an in an outfit like if i put that on like it's comfy but i wouldn't wear it like out because it doesn't really look right in an outfit if you understand me like it doesn't really look instagrammable or fashionable or anything it's just for comfort whereas this i feel like is a bit of both so it's for comfort but it also could look really good and also it would get me out of the habit of wearing that one like all the time so i really like this it was quite oversized so again i think this is something i could think about sizing down in because i got this in an eight but i did think this was really lovely and definitely something i could see myself wearing quite a lot and last but not least i ordered a pair of gray cycling shorts i kind of do want to get some cycling shorts just because i've seen quite a lot of like outfit inspiration 
where people are wearing like oversized shirts with cycling shorts or like a top with like a corduroy shirt and like belted with cycling shorts. I've seen a lot of outfit inspiration involving cycling shorts making me want some but I'm not gonna lie I think I should have got some black ones. I don't know why I bought grey ones but they fit lovely like they're super comfortable. I could imagine wearing these to bed to be fair they're so comfy. Actually yeah, I don't know why I got grey ones. I like I'm really confused to myself like Charlotte why didn't you buy black ones. But there we go that is everything I got from my ASOS haul and as you can see I am definitely not that gradually moving towards autumn fashion. I just Apparently I'm just done with summer. I just, I just want to be wearing turtlenecks and oversized shirts and coats. See, so yeah, I will leave all these links down below in the description box for you. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.